चैप्टर नाइन इंटरनेट सर्फिंग चैप्टर कनेक्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ द इंटरनेट सर्विस ऑफ द इंटरनेट सर्च इंजन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेल Computers in organizations have been used to extract information, resource sharing, high reliability and communication can be achieved by connecting these computers. Computer network delivers service to individuals like access to remote information, pay their bills, manage their bank accounts and handle their investments electronically. Internet can be used for a number of purposes like accessing world wide web, email, etc. History of the Internet In 1969, the University of California at Los Angeles, the Stanford Research Institute, University of California at Santa Barbara, and the University of Utah were connected. as the beginning of the ARPANET network using 50 kbit s circuits computer networks and the technologies needed to connect and communicate through and between them continue to drive computer hardware software and peripherals industries services on the internet The internet provides a wide range of services to meet the different requirements of people. These services can be categorized into following types. Cyber fact: You can click send before the attachment finishes uploading. It will continue to upload and Gmail will automatically send the email once it's done. World Wide Web: The World Wide Web www or W3 is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the internet. With a web browser, one can view web pages that may contain text, images, videos and other multimedia and navigate between them via hyperlinks. It is a collection of textual documents and other resources linked by hyperlinks and URLs transmitted by web browsers and web servers social networking social networking is possible in person especially in the workplace universities etc this is because in most high schools colleges or workplaces the internet is filled with millions of individuals who are looking to meet other people to gather and share first hand information Once you are granted access to a social networking website you can begin to socialize this socialization may include reading the profile pages of other members and possibly even contacting them online chat online chat may refer to any kind of communication over the internet that offers an instant transmission of text based messages from sender to receiver hence The delay for visual access to the sent message shall not hamper the flow of communications in any of the directions. Online chat may address point-to-point -point communications as well as multicast communications from one sender to many receivers. Video conferencing. Video conferencing is a system that enables people in different parts of the world to have a meeting by watching and listening to each other using video screens. It has also been called visual collaboration and is a type of group where e-commerce electronic commerce commonly known as e-commerce is a type of industry where the buying and selling of products or services is conducted over electronic systems such as the internet and other computer networks electronic commerce uses the world wide web at least at one point in the transactions life cycle although it may encompass a wider range of technologies such as email mobile devices social media and telephones as well search engines 
Search engine is an information retrieval system designed to help find information stored in a computer system and accessed through the means such as the World Wide Web. The search engine allows you to make a query usually with a word or phrase and retrieves a list of items that best match the criteria you have requested. Cyber Fact Search engines use regularly updated indexes to operate quickly and efficiently. Popular search engines searching for content. The top 5 search engines are Google Search, Yahoo Search, MSN Windows Live Search, AOL Search, Ask.com Search. Performing a search using the search bar. Most browsers have a built-in search bar located to the right of the address bar. To do a search, just type what you are looking for, known as the search terms, in the search bar and then press enter. Your browser will then take you to the search engine's website to show you the search results, which is a list of all the web sites that contain your search terms. Many users allow you to add to or change the search engines used by the search bar. Improving your searches As you gain experience with search engines, you will be able to do better and better searches to find what you are looking for. Here are few tips for improving your searches. Taking suggestions While typing a search term, the search engine will try to guess what you are searching for and show a list of search suggestions which give you ideas for search terms. Search phrases Put quotes around a phrase so each word in the phrase isn't searched for separately. Exclude words Use a hyphen at the beginning of a word to exclude search results containing it. Use OR You can use OR All caps to include either of two search words. Get help Go to your search engine's help page for more specific information on a particular engine. Electronic Mail Email is the exchange of computer stored messages by telecommunications. However, you can also send non-text files such as graphic images and sound files as attachments sent in binary streams. Email can also be exchanged between online service users and in networks other than the internet, both public and private. Email can be distributed to list of people as well as to individuals. Advantage of email Speed The message can reach any part of the world within seconds, thus making the process much faster than ordinary post. The difference in the speed is so vast that the ordinary post is now referred to as snail mail. Cost The cost of sending and receiving mail is virtually nothing. You just have to pay for the time for which you are connected to the internet. Contents Apart from the written text, you can send images and various types of files as attachment within your mail. Eco-friendly It is a step towards a paperless office, thus eliminating the use of paper which lead to reduction in the cutting of trees. Broadcasting a single mail can be sent to multiple recipients at a time. This process is termed as broadcasting. Limitations of email Resources required To send and receive an email, you must have a computer and an internet connection. Source of virus Some mischievous people use this medium to spread virus over the internet. Devoid of emotions since the messages is written using keyboard, the feel of personal touch and sentiments associated with the handwritten letter are missing, the email looks devoid of emotions. Email addressing To receive emails, you will need an email account and an email address. Also, if you want to send emails to other people, you will need to obtain their email addresses. It is important to learn how to write email addresses correctly. 
Email addresses are always written in a standard format that includes a username, the at the rate symbol, and the email provider's domain. The username is the name you choose to identify yourself and the email provider is the website that hosts your email account. For example, the address inverted comma http colon slash slash triple w dot d o e a c c dot edu inverted comma closed provides the following information. Introduction to Gmail Gmail Google Mail is a free email service provided by Google. In Gmail, you can send and receive emails, block spam, create an address book and perform other basic email tasks. But it also has some more unique features that help to make it one of the most popular email services on the web. Gmail Features Gmail offers a lot of useful features to make your email experience as smooth as possible, including Spam filtering Patch Spam filtering Spam is another name for junk email. Gmail uses advanced technologies to keep spam out of your inbox. Conversion view an email conversion occurs anytime you send emails back and forth with another person about a specific topic or event. Built in chat. Instead of sending an email, you can send someone an instant message or use the voice and video chat feature. Call phone. This feature is similar to voice chat except it allows you to dial an actual phone number to call any phone in the world. Setting up a Gmail account To create a Gmail Google Mail address, you will first need to create a Google account. Gmail will redirect you to the Google account sign up page. You will need to provide some basic information like your name, birth date, gender, and location. You will also need to choose a name for your new Gmail address. Once you create an account, you will be able to start adding contacts and adjusting your mail settings. To create an account, go to www.gmail.com, click create an account, figure 1. The sign up form will appear. Follow the directions and enter the required information such as your name, birth date and gender, figure 2. Finally, review Google's terms of service and privacy policy. Click the checkbox and then click next step, figure 3. The create your profile page will appear. Click add a photo if you wish to add a photo to your Google Plus profile. If you don't want to set up profile photo at this time, click next step. Your account will be created and the Google welcome page will appear. Signing into your account. When you first create your account, you will be automatically signed in. Most of the time you will need to sign into your account and then sign out when you are done with it. Signing out is especially important if you are using a shared computer because it prevents other people from viewing your emails. To sign in, go to www.gmail.com, type your username and password and then click sign in. Your email window will open. To sign out, in the top right corner of the page, click your name and select sign out. The compose window recipients. 
recipients are the people you are sending the email to you will need to type the email address for each recipient most of the time you will add recipients to the to field but you can also add recipients to the cc or bcc fields cc and bcc cc stands for carbon copy this is used when you want to send an email to someone who is not the main recipient bcc stands for blind carbon copy it works almost the same way as cc except all of the email address in the bcc fields are hidden making it deal when emailing a very large number of recipients or when privacy is needed subject the subject should say what the email is about keep the subject brief but give the recipients a reasonable idea of what's in the message body the body is the actual text of the email generally you will write this just like a normal letter with a greeting one or more paragraphs and closing with your name send button when you are satisfied with your message click send to send it to the recipients formatting options formatting allows you to to change the look and feel of your message add attachment an attachment is a file such as an image or a document that is sent along with the email message gmail allows you to include multiple attachments to send an email in the left menu pane click the compose button the compose window will appear in the lower right corner of the page you will need to add one or more recipients to the to field there are two ways to do this type one or more email addresses separated by commas click to to select recipients from your contacts and then click select type a subject for the message in the body field type your message when you are done click send adding attachments an attachment is simply a file such as an image or document that is sent along with your email it is a good idea to include a message in the body of your email explaining what the attachment is especially if the recipient isn't expecting an attachment to add an attachment while composing an email click the paper clip icon at the bottom of the compose window the file upload dialog box will appear choose the file you want to attach and click open the attachment will begin to upload most attachments will upload within a few seconds but larger ones can take longer when you are ready to send your email click send email formatting gmail allows you to add various types of formatting to your text click the formatting button at the bottom of the compose window to see different formatting options deleting unwanted messages the simplest way to deal with email clutter is to delete unwanted messages However, it's possible to keep your inbox organized while still keeping all of the emails that are important to you. To delete a message, while viewing the message, click the delete button. to sum up the internet provides a wide range of services to meet the different requirements of people www is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the internet social networking websites function like an online community of internet users e-commerce is the buying and selling of products over the internet search engine is an inform- information retrieval system accessed through triple w 
Email is the exchange of computer stored messages by telecommunications. To receive emails, you will need an email account and an email address. Email addresses include a username, the symbol, and the email provider's domain. Gmail, Google Mail is a free email service provided by Google.